In this course, there are two examples of how we used H5P to do a couple of different things. The first one is um, a knowledge check at the bottom of the page. So when students get to this page, they'll just read the content, watch the video, and continue to read until they get to the end. And then what they'll do is they'll just read the question and answer it. And they can get um, to know whether or not they have uh, completed the question correctly or not. Move on to the next one. Nope, got that one wrong. They can look at the solution. And so on. And at that point, they can retry if they want to test their knowledge again, or they can move on in the course, which is what we are going to do because we're going to go look at um, some another example of using H5P in a course. So in this activity we have um, a couple of readings the students are asked to read and then um, we're modeling how they're supposed to be answering these questions. So they um, read the question and then just click um, to be able to see the answer. Um, in the second reading they read this article and then they're asked to actually type their response. So we'll just type in something here. Text, text, text. And then they can check their answer. And it will give them some feedback. And then they can continue on and finish all of these and check their answers. Um, so the value for this um, is that the students are going to be asked to do this in a real assignment. So this is prepping them to be able to do well on that assignment, some practice that they might not normally have had if we wouldn't have had this because we very easily could have just given them the readings and, you know, written a whole bunch of text on how to do it. And then that was this, that was it. So here they actually get to practice. 